everybody, it's Odd Dustin. Welcome back into the Mosh Pit. And we're talking about Diablo 4. I don't want to start a character, I want to start mac and cheese. Uh, we are melting people here in uh, the latest season of Diablo 4. And I want to talk a little bit about the next season and my plans for it. Because I have played uh, all the seasons, got through uh, each of the season passes. And I uh, just want to kind of give my opinion on where I think I'm going to be going uh, with the next season here is uh, I'm going to play the story. I have skipped the story every opportunity I could and uh, got straight into whatever this next season is and then it's over with immediately and then you're just back into the Nightmare Dungeon grind. Uh, luckily it seems like there's going to be so many changes in the next season that uh, Nightmare Dungeons are not going to be the only thing we have to do but they're still going to be there. Uh, and you know what? I think the reason I want to start the story and do the story content again is because uh, it was the best part of the game. You know, like the the gameplay itself has been fun. I enjoy Diablo uh, as uh, D4 bad meme as it is. Um, I do enjoy the game, but I feel like the story is really the best part that they built out of this game, and I want to experience again. Um, I do want to play through the seasonal content. I do want to get to the end game. You know, I want to try all the new crafting and itemization that they have built into the game now um, for the next season. But the the characters in this in the story were actually pretty enjoyable. I actually liked the story quite a bit. I felt like it was the best part of the game, and uh, I want to experience that again. I want to see uh, the boss fights. There's some boss fights in the campaign that you never see again. They happen and then they're gone. And after playing a bunch of uh, Path of Exile for the past couple of Path of Exile leagues and going through the story multiple times, running new characters there, um, I kind of thought, you know what? Diablo could really use me running through the story again. And, and maybe I'll enjoy it quite a bit you know I'm gonna try you know what does it feel like to run through a, a Diablo season uh, playing the story again you know and you never get to see uh, any of those characters that you meet along the way there's some little side characters that you can meet like uh, you know I don't even remember their names now because it's been a bit since I played through the campaign but the uh, guard who's who got bribed to let in um, the I don't even remember the people's names, man. <laughs> like, what happened to Donan? I, I don't know after uh, the end of everything. I, I don't remember what happened to Donan because I haven't played the story in so long. Um, you know, like, I'm wondering uh, in the expansion what's going to happen uh, with Anarius since I know what happens at the end. Lorath was just kind of like, eh, well, okay, yeah, it's fine. Uh, Nerel's bailed with, uh, you know, only the the uh gem with mephisto in it like what the hell so there's a lot of that stuff uh the characters and things that you interact with within the story that are just pretty memorable uh if you had a memory i don't have a memory so <laughs> uh but yeah i want to experience that all over again and uh and then get into the seasonal content uh and the seasons have been fine i mean the the season one was kind of meh and uh didn't really catch you know, I didn't finish I didn't even get to a character to 100 because I just fell off of it the season of blood was great I actually enjoyed that quite a bit this season's been okay because I got through the uh, season pass stuff you know made it all the way to the end got all the cosmetics that was really uh, the, it the rest of the journey I really didn't feel like I needed to have uh, the unlock or uh, different titles or this little emblem here that you can unlock um, Malthus like whoopie do <laughs> or these titles here for uh demons whisper like demon might be okay whisper meh whatever <laughs> like none of that stuff mattered enough to go through the hassle of uh getting through the end game but you know i think if i if i can get through the story and then move into the end game maybe it'll at least feel a little bit more substantial i don't know i, I just want to give myself just a little bit more with the game and why not experience the best part of it uh through running through the story again you know I'm, i always rush to the end and then i'm just grinding and i know that there's gonna be a lot of grinding because of the extra benefits that you can get from uh, tempering your gear and stuff like that and i am looking forward to that part of it um, but also you know i want to try to get some more of what really uh, 
in, I enjoyed before season one. And I think like maybe every other season it might be good to do a refresh on uh, on the story content. You know, like maybe that is uh, the cadence. I don't know if like every season does it work to play the story through every day. I mean, it works every time you create a new character in uh, Path of Exile, you run through the story. Um, so I'm wondering if maybe there's there is some benefit or something that you could get out of Diablo by playing through the story again, you know? Now for season four, I am looking forward to the new crafting. I love the fact that the aspects are changing to a book of aspects that you can upgrade as you play the game. That sounds off, uh, totally awesome to me. I am looking forward to uh, getting the ones that I want and then upgrading those, trying to get to you know, the, the really good versions of them. I'm not sure on all the wording because I watched a little bit of the PTR coverage and realized, yep, that's all sounding great. I'm just going to keep playing uh, these other games until I can get to that, and then uh, we'll see what I get. You know, I want to learn it along the way uh, when I play the actual season. So I didn't watch a ton of the PTR coverage, but enough to know that it looks like it's going to be pretty good. Um, there is probably going to be a new seasonal mechanic. We'll see how that is. They have at least held a little bit back from the PTR. Um, so we don't know everything, but there has been some data mining that it's going to be some kind of possibly wolf-based thing. Um, we will see um, that kind of stuff. I might uh, put a video out after it's been, you know, maybe a, a couple of weeks going through the season, how it feels so far. Uh, let me know if you're interested in something like that. I definitely want to see more about the secret cow level, which for whatever reason still has been kind of a mystery. There's been some things about the secret cow level that have come out, like killing a certain number of cows triggers a drop that you can only get if you kill a specific number of cows in the game and not like evil demon cows, just regular old cows. Uh, and regular old cows are not easy to find. So you have to find, I think, 666 cows to get to the the key or some kind of thing that drops. I forget what it is, but um, I haven't really saw that anybody found anything beyond that. It's just been the key to the secret cow level. So maybe that'll come up. Um, and also, I think probably the biggest thing for this season is did the PTR help? Uh, I saw a lot of people say we really want this to happen like Rax put out a really great video detailing everything that he found that he felt like if they change these things it's really going to be an amazing season and I want to see how much how much did they listen to you know the top PTR players that gave some pretty good uh, adv not advice but pretty good feedback on you know what kinds of things were pushing back too hard what didn't feel right you know um, did, did Blizzard take the PTR and just say, oh, thanks, uh, we gave you what you wanted, but then they didn't act on any of that stuff? Uh, or are they going to make the changes that, you know, improve the, the season and create an experience that we're not pitching about first weekend of the league and then, uh, not playing when, you know, like this past league has just been uh, a mess them and there's a reason I only played until I got to level 90 there's a reason I never went and did the grind that it takes to get to 100 and do all the rest of the stuff it just I, you know I didn't really care <laughs> I didn't care and you know it wasn't that I wasn't having fun because the sorcerer build I felt like uh, my firewall sorcerer build has been fun to play it's just it wasn't about the gameplay, it was just the grind and the fact that the Seneschal thing didn't really feel great. So I'm hoping that the next season is good and that the PTR did something. Um, I, I'm a D4 liker and, uh, you know, if, uh, if they can do some good stuff with that ionization, if this becomes the true 1.0 for the game, then I'm happy for it because I do like Diablo uh, and I think that they built a pretty good little game here. And I like that the uh, story, the story uh, is pretty good. So what are you going to do? Are you even going to play this game? Do you even care? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Uh, what do you feel about playing the story? Um, does that sound like something you would want to do? Uh, let me know, and if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, and uh, you don't have to ding the bell. I don't care about the bell. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you in the next video.